Hey, what's up, OV Tribe? We literally just came from the terminal to the trailhead here in Olympic National Park to test a brand new backpack. We wanna bring you on this journey. This pack right here is the Coda UL, and it's designed to go from terminal to trail. It's a travel pack, it's a backpacking backpack. It's something that's totally different for all of your adventures. Let's go hit the trail. All right, so we're cruising up the trail now, but I want to take a quick second to explain what the heck we're doing. Uh, for a while here at Outdoor Vitals, we felt like we had another pack to build. Um, a lot of our travels aren't as single dimensional as just ultralight backpacking. We do travel, we have families, we travel with families, we do international travel, we love to just go and see. And we find that there's a lot of overlap between ultralight backpacking and ultralight everything else. So we wanted to build this pack that's a little bit more centered around travel which means things like being able to carry it on an airplane, slide it in and out of a car easily, you know, just the, the overall shape, dimensions, all sorts of things like that that are built more for being a little more sleek. But the problem with any travel pack that we'd use was they are not comfortable when there's a load in them or they're not optimized to be able to carry things like backpacking gear like we're doing right now. So this is a test trip for the product that we have under development, the Coda UL. It is awesome see if this resonates with something that you might do with your family or your friends so we flew into seattle we rented a car we drove over here to this trailhead and tonight we're backpacking out in the wilderness and getting some really beautiful shots and then tomorrow we will backpack around the area head back to the car and then we're gonna do some sightseeing on some smaller hikes around the car. Probably end up at the ocean, end up on some hikes, and then we'll actually check into an Airbnb and hang out um, tomorrow night in town, get a shower. And then the next day, we'll do some more sightseeing on our way back to Seattle, back to the airport. Um, so it's about a three day trip, all in all, two nights, three days, just a different style of trip. You can see the river down there than what we always do but it's just a different form of ultralight backpacking anyways just wanted to share that and tell me what you think comment in the section below if that kind of resonates with some of the traveling that you do all right so we just got here to camp and it is crazy how beautiful it is everyone's just pulling everything out of their codas so it's pretty wild to think that we've got everything we need for a multi-day trip in here including all of our backpacking gear on the way in we're testing things like how comfortable they carry which is a big difference but and a big point of focus for us when we design this pack is how comfortable we can make it we've got tents we've got pads we've got quilts we've got bear canisters we have to have a bear canister in here food everything packed it right in here and here we are out on the trail so we're gonna go ahead and set up camp now before it gets dark and watch as the sun goes down. All right, we're just about to take off from camp. It's been an awesome campsite right here on the bank of the river. Kind of found some secluded spots. Got some other campers in here, but Coda packs are all loaded up and we're gonna take off. All right, we just got back to the car. We're all loaded, headed to the next location on our adventures. There. All right, so we've just been cruising down the beach and we're almost where we're going. Check this out. Isn't that crazy? Uh, another day in the office, but on the way back, I'm going to ask some of the team members some random questions. Uh, all related to travel. We'll see what their answers are. This is like where you'd find like sea anemones and crabs when I was a kid. There he is. <laughs> this is slick. So back there on the beach, there are some people in hammocks. You can get a permit and stay out here. That'd be pretty freaking awesome. Another good way to use the Coda pack for sure. Just to have that opportunity to fly into some place like this and backpack out and spend the night. And you look at this little pool right here behind me. If you go fast past it, you will see nothing but 
that look like abandoned shells, but sitting here watching it, the amount of movement and hermits that are in there moving, just moving slow is amazing. Slow down, watch things, breathe, be present. And uh, that's really where I find so much of my enjoyment in life. Look at this. Right over there, there are two crabs fighting over a shell. <laughs> that's pretty cool to watch. All right, so we're gonna have Derek answer the questions first. So question number one, favorite place you've ever single bag traveled or adventure traveled? I think a week ago, my favorite single bag adventure travel would have been Guatemala, but so far this trip is giving uh, that answer a run for its money. Um, I'm gonna go with Guatemala. I, even that trip got sh cut short, but that was probably the first time I truly single bag adventure traveled um before that it was kind of pack rat so <laughs> <laughs> probably venice italy um it was actually miserably hot and humid when we went but uh it was more just uh being there with my wife it was kind of the first uh big trip we did together like internationally uh, before we had kids. Your single most favorite piece of gear for one bag travel. Use a good camera. If you don't have one on your phone or, or some other small lightweight camera, like you're probably gonna regret it. Shoes, I think shoes are really important. And you, when you're single bag traveling, you have to be intentional about the shoes that you're bringing. Cause you just can't fit all the shoes for every outfit. That's the reality. The fanny pack. Fanny pack, yeah. Uh, that's different. Especially if you're going to Europe, you just fit in with the locals. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just kind of have like, keeps your wallet and your phone out of your pocket. It's kind of strapped around your waist in a zipper compartment. And uh, kind of have everything ready for you right there. Your best tip for someone who has not yet single bag traveled, adventure traveled, uh, what's your single best tip for that person? Single best trip, if you haven't done it before with a single bag, just try it. I think that's the biggest hurdle for someone that hasn't done it before. Just force yourself to fit everything in one bag and it really gets you thinking about what you need and uh, your trip is gonna be way more enjoyable, I promise. Look at what you wear on a daily basis and try to find like a capsule within that so you don't have to pack as many clothes. I think that's a pretty good tip. And at the end of the day, if you leave something at home and you're on your trip and you really want it, just go buy it. Take the money that you would spend on checking a bag and use it for good food on your trip. <laughs> All right, I guess it's my turn to answer the question. So number one, favorite place that I've ever single bag adventure traveled in my life. I'm actually gonna take it back a long time ago. Before Outdoor Vitals, um, I was in college and got an opportunity to go on a cruise to the Bahamas and I couldn't afford much. The ticket was free. And so I basically used a backpacking backpack to single bag travel, snuck it on the plane, even though it wasn't carry on approved. Had some stress and stuff, but then I like got there early cause I took a red eye, explored the city of uh, Miami and went to some different areas. Uh, hopped on the cruise ship, did all that. And then when I got back, I did the same thing before getting on a flight again. So to me, that really kicked off my single bag travel and how I could see that opportunity. It just would have been miserable to lug that bag, a check bag around a city, two full days essentially on public transit. So my favorite piece of gear, um, I would say a backpack because I feel like that is critically important and the reason that I pushed to design it. But um, I'm gonna go a little bit different and I'm kind of gonna blanket a few things in, but I'm gonna say quick drying clothes. I mean, preferably wool if you have that option but anything that can dry quickly, stay away from cottons and stuff like that, and then a little bit of laundry detergent. Just get used to washing your clothes in a sink, and you can make two sets of clothes last you forever. All right, my favorite tip for single bag adventure travel is going to be use a checklist. Get yourself some kind of a checklist, build your own checklist, start putting things on paper. That's gonna give you a ton of confidence that you're not gonna forget anything. It's also gonna help you figure out where you can shave some weight. All right, we just got back to the trailhead. About to go hop in the car. 
We're gonna hop in the car, take off towards where we've got an Airbnb tonight. Just got to the Airbnb. This will be home for the night. Tomorrow we'll hit up some more adventures. All right, we're just starting off the day. We're headed up to Hurricane Ridge. I'm gonna go hit some trails up here and do a little bit of just quick hikes and then we'll be headed back to the airport around noon from where we're at to catch a flight tonight. We just got to the top. Let's go for a little hike up here. So we just got started on this trail. We thought it was a tiny little trail, but it looks like it goes all the way over to this uh, peak back here. So good thing we've got the packs and some water and we'll just go until we're done going. All right, we just made it to the end of the trail, looking at some amazing views, including Canada over here. We're actually on Canadian cell service right now. And I'm gonna take a little bit of time to ask each team member their favorite feature of the Coda UL and why, and then we'll be on our road home. Maddie's gonna go first. What is your single most favorite feature of the Coda UL backpack? I like the easy access pocket on the top so you can put your passport or your snacks in there and you don't have to take your whole bag out of somewhere to get what you need out of it. It's comfortable. The stretch mesh pockets that are on the inside sides, like just uh, dropping things down in the sides there and kind of keeps them organized and keeps them out of the way. That's uh, that's interesting. I like the zippered pocket more than the side drop pockets. Yeah. And that's kind of what we've seen as we've tested and given the pack to people is different people just gravitate towards the different pockets, which is pretty cool because if you don't use those side pockets, you don't really notice. I'm gonna go with the the frame. Um, like it's built to be comfortable for sure, but to me, one of the most important aspects of it was to make it all day comfortable, meaning you can wear it all day through an airport with heavy stuff, laptops, etc., in there or backpacking gear or whatever and still stay comfortable and that all hinged on the frame and maximizing the frame. All right, so we've got about 25 minutes walking back to the car on this amazing ridge line and then we're headed to the airport and headed home. We've done most of the hike back. You can see off in the distance, all the uh, snow fields. We'll go ahead and wrap this up on this amazing trail, head back to the airport and call it a trip. Hopefully this was inspiring to you guys. Down in the comments below, make sure to let us know your favorite adventure travel, single bag travel trip that you've done. And we'll see you on the next videos.